This is Bill Stewart and in this video I'm going to show you how to request a web server certificate from an Active Directory certificate server for the Apache Tomcat application server. The Apache web server doesn't have the convenient GUI that IIS does for requesting certificates. So I wanted to show how to accomplish this using open source tool Keystore Explorer. The website is keystore-explorer.org You can go to the download section and of course download the latest release. I downloaded the application and have it installed here on this machine. So what we're going to do is go ahead and fire up the Keystore Explorer application. And we can use the Keystore Explorer application to request a, a HTTPS certificate for our Tomcat application server. I'm going to use this for the XWiki application. So we'll fire up the Keystore Explorer app here. We'll close the tip of the day. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a new Keystore file. So we can click this icon here. We can go to File and New. And we're going to create a PKCS number 12 file. Hit OK. And we're going to right click and generate a new key pair. It's going to be RSA 2048 bits. OK. Keystore Explorer will generate the key pair. I'm going to specify a 10 year validity. This won't be the actual amount of validity of the certificate unless you use it as a self signed certificate. So this is just to, to initially create it in the key store. Now I'm going to hit the name button here. And for my sample test uh, environment, well, what you want to put in for the CN is the FQDN of your web server. Okay. Uh, depending on what your organization requires for certificates, you may need to consult your whoever manages your certificate server to get appropriate values for these fields. So I'm going to fill them in with appropriate values for my test environment. Oops. Here we go. Now for a web server certificate, we need to add several extensions to the certificate. So we're going to add the extensions and hit the plus key here. There's several we're going to need. The first one is extended key usage for TLS web server authentication. The next one is key usage. We use digital signature and key encipherment. Now I'm going to add a subject alternative name to the certificate so that I can use just the server name instead of the FQDN when I want to access the server. So I'm just going to specify the short name here without the domain.local. Okay. And the last one is we want to generate a subject key identifier. I'm going to hit OK, hit the key button, generate 160 bit hash, and OK, and OK. Now we have our four certificate extensions, and we'll hit OK there. So we filled this in, now we're ready to hit OK and we're ready to assign an alias. I'll just leave the alias as is and we'll assign a key, a key pair password. And then hit OK. So now we've generated a key in our key store. What we want to do is save this key store, save or save as here. We'll assign a password to the key store itself, which is a separate password from the key pair. I'm going to create actually a folder in my Tomcat application server uh, directory here. I'm going to create a folder. I'll do, give it a right click and say new folder and we'll call it certs. We can use this directory to store our certificate files. This key store file I'm going to title xwiki-keystore.pfx. 
PFX is a standard um, extension for certificate file, PKCS no, uh, number 12 that we created. So there we go. Now we've generated the key pair. Now if you wanted to, you could use this and export this uh, as a certificate chain and use it as a self-signed certificate, but we actually want to request a certificate from the certificate server. So what we're going to do now is we're going to right click the key pair and generate a CSR or certificate signing request. So we'll click that option. It's going to be a PKCS number 10 format. We can look at the distinguished name. The FQDN looks correct after CN. We're not going to use a challenge or company name. We do want to check the box for extensions. We want the extensions to be included in the CSR. So we're going to name this file xwiki.csr and it's going to put it in the program files tomcat certs directory. So we're going to hit OK. Now we've generated a CSR. We can actually look at the CSR if we examine the file and we take a look at it. We can see it's in PKCS number 10 format, the subject, the algorithm, and we can also take a look that our extensions are set in the CSR. So the CSR looks good. And the next step that we're going to do is we are going to go to the certificate server web page enrollment uh, web page. Now this is, uh, you know, of course I'm assuming that whoever manages the certificate server in your environment has the web server installed, but this is a, a very common configuration, so I'm going to show how to use that. Um, it's the HTTPS, the server name, and the website is CERT, C-E-R-T-S-R-V. So I'm going to go to that web page, and we'll see the certificate service enrollment page. Now on the front page of the certificate service enrollment, uh, the first thing that we want to do is actually get the certificate chain for the uh, domain. So, or rather the certificate server. So what we're going to do is click download a CA certificate, certificate chain or CRL. So I'm going to click that option. It's going to say it wants to perform certificate operations. We say yes. The current domain, uh, we want base64 format and download CA certificate chain. So I'm going to click that option and I'm going to save as and I'm going to make sure that we're saving this file in the same directory. So I'm going to go to C program files and Tomcat and certs and I'm going to name this file. We did select base64 format. I think I mentioned that. So this is going to be called Fabricam is our domain name dash cert dash chain dot p7b. Okay, now we go back a step and now we want to request a certificate. So we'll click that option. And we're going to submit an advanced certificate request and we're going to use a base64 encoded request. So we're going to click the second option. And what we paste in here is actually the CSR that we just looked at a moment ago. I'm going to open that under examine file and we're going to click the PEM button and copy to the clipboard and OK and OK. And we will paste that here into this request window or text field. We want to make sure that the dashes and begin certificate request and end certificate request are there on the or, or in the pasted box there. So as far as the certificate template goes, again, this is organization dependent, depending on what certificate templates your whoever manages your certificate server makes available to you. Um, I'm going to use the default web server uh, certificate template because that's what's available to me. But again, you would need to uh, verify that in your organization, which certificate template you should use. So I'm going to click Submit now that we're done with this page. Again, we get prompted to perform certificate operations. I'm going to click Yes. And again, we select Base64. 
and then we're going to download the certificate file and we're going to save as and again make sure that we're in program files tomcat certs and I'm going to title this certificate file xwiki.cer okay so now we have downloaded the certificate file and now we need to import it import the uh, certificate authorities reply from that file into our key store so I'm going to right click the the key pair and import CA reply from file and I'm going to get the certificate file that I just downloaded a moment ago from the certification web server okay I'm going to hit open and it says the import was successful so now if we look we double click our key pair we will now see our subject is the same but now we can see that the certificate has been issued by, by our our CA in the domain and it's issued us a two-year certificate because that's what the certificate template dictated was that the certificate would be two-year we can check the extensions and we will see the CA information in here and we will see the extended key usage and our different settings okay so we're gonna hit OK we can now save our key store now what we want to do is we we'll want actually want to export the private key so that we can encrypt so we're going to click export private key and it's going to be open SSL format we're going to hit OK we are not going to encrypt it and we are going to specify the file name here is xwiki.key in the program files tomcat search directory okay all right so now we've we've created our certificate chain our certificate file and private key file so at this point what we're going to actually need to do is make a change to the server.xml file in tomcat so we'll go to program files tomcat and the conf directory we'll take a look at the files in here I'm going to make a backup copy of the server.xml file okay and I'm going to open the server.xml file in the notepad text editor and I'm going to scroll down to where we actually specify the HTTPS configuration so we scroll down to the section where it says define SSL TLS HTTP 1.1 connector with HTTP slash 2 uses APR native and template uh, implementation which uses open SSL for TLS so what I'm going to do is make a copy of this section and I'm going to paste that in so it's not commented okay and I'm actually going to run on the standard port 443 for the web server and I'm going to change the key file name it's in the certs directory and it this is called xwiki.key the certificate file again this is certs xwiki.cer we can check these file names can look at the file names here and in fact I want to copy and paste the no actually I want to rename that file actually let me go do that real quick so that it's clear what the file is it's actually not a binary file the uh, p7b file you can see that by looking at the content of the file that it's text I'm going to rename it with the .cer extension okay so let's get this file name yep, it matches there okay I'm actually gonna paste that in here so now we've specified that we want to listen on port 443 we have specified the key file the certificate file and the chain file we have all three of those files and they are in the certs correct that they are in the certs directory under the Tomcat main Tomcat directory 
So now that we're done with that, we can close and save that file. Now we can go to our services applet and we can actually restart our Tomcat application server in order to use the new certificate so that it will reread the server.xml file. Okay. We're going to restart the service. Now, depending on how fast your, your machine is, it may take some time for the Tomcat application server to stop and then start again. So we'll just let that complete. Okay, so it's back up and running. I'm going to actually tail my log file here. We get the content dash wait, and we'll watch the startup here. You can see that it's now deploying the applications which are just subdirectories of the web apps directory and now it's deploying the xwiki application so again depending on how fast your web server is this may take up to a couple of minutes to complete and as soon as that's ready then we can demonstrate the certificate okay so it completed its startup hit control c here Okay, so now we can actually go to our web server and the XWiki directory, and it should be now using our newly issued certificate. And in fact, you will see the correct lock key or lock uh, icon here in the bar. And if we take a look at that and view the certificate, we'll actually see the certificate here. It was issued to our server. And you notice that I did not use, I, I didn't use the FQDN. That's because there's a subject alternative name in the certificate that permits me to use this name without it generating a certificate error. And you'll see the validity period here and the details of the certificate. So as soon as this uh, initializes, you'll see the XWiki uh, initial screen here because now we've uh, just initialized the web server. So I hope that this tutorial helps you with how to request a certificate from an Active Directory certificate authority uh, for use with Tomcat. And you can use a similar procedure in Keystore Explorer to uh, renew the uh, web server certificate when it comes due for renewal. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.